Whether you're going to a game at Marble Athletic Field or taking a stroll down by the water, the mayor of Gladstone says the city is working hard to make its streets and boardwalks safe for everyone. That's right. TV6 Escanaba Bureau reporter Barbara Bellinger got an update from the mayor on completed, ongoing city projects. New no parking signs dot the west side of South 18th Street next to Marble Athletic Field in Gladstone. City Mayor Joe Thompson says the signs make the road safer. During a game when it's really busy down here, both sides of the streets were aligned with, with vehicles and there was barely enough room to get another vehicle through yet alone a fire truck or, you know, or an ambulance. The signs followed a street repair project that included additional safety features. Behind me, what they did was we put in some brand new sidewalks and brand new curb. The city might have completed this project, but they're already moving forward as they have been on another much loved area of the city, the boardwalk. The city has some of the funds it needs to do the repair, but it needs grant funding before it can start work. We've been applying for grants right along and I, you know, I, I, I don't know that I've heard the latest on the last one. Thompson says high water damaged the boardwalk that runs from Saunders Point to the campground. It needs to be fixed right. The city is also looking at a lease it has for the Jones property at Van Cleef Park. It's a very restrictive lease on how you can use that property. My contention always has always been is that we have a lot of lakeshore property in Gladstone and we really don't need to lease property. The city is looking into a less restrictive lease or ending the lease entirely. Thompson says the city is also moving forward with the developers interested in the North Shore project. TV6 is following that project and will keep you updated. Barbara Bellinger, TV6 News, Gladstone. Thank you, Barbara.